Hi, I'm Alan Jones, executive editor for Boating World Magazine. Well, today I'm in northern Indiana with Greg Yarbrough, who's the uh, uh, touring pro, and he's also the captain of uh, Team uh, uh, Starcraft. Now, we're on a, aboard a Starcraft Starfish 246 four point, and I'll tell you, this is my kind of pontoon boat. I love to fish, and I love to fish on pontoon boats, but you guys have got it all going on here. Uh, I understand you helped with the design of this boat too, didn't you? Yeah, this has a, been a very popular uh, boat for us so far in the pontoon market. Um, what we've done, we've kind of created two separate zones here. A forward zone, which is really nice for the family. And the business end back here, we've got actually a transition line from carpet to vinyl. So when you're back here doing your fishing and stuff, you got to kind of have a little barrier away. So if there's kids up playing in the front, they're not dealing with fish hooks laying on the ground or anything like that. So it's been a really nice transition to this model. It's like the opposite of a mullet. Uh, business, uh, party in the front, business <laughs> in the back. That's cool. I like that. Absolutely. But uh, tell me some of the features we have here. Well, back here we've got the uh, new... Uh, custom centric two seats like this which have great lumber support there are no pinch hinges on them so you don't have to worry about pinching fingers or snapping rod tips very comfortable seats um, they're set up on swivel so you can move them anyway you got plenty of leg room here when you're actually sitting and fishing so you're not crammed up against the rail which makes it nice and this is our um, our basically our rod rack here and we've got a, a new starboard rigging table that serves as a, a fillet table also if you want to clean a fish and throw them on the grill while you're out I here. I catch any, but that'd be nice for other people, I guess. Oh, if you're not fishing, you can come back here and cut up your you know, fruits and vegetables, things like that, cheese and crackers, and nice rigging table and the all-important drink holders. There you go. Implemented right into it. Now, uh, tell me about the surface back here. This is a uh, vinyl surface in the aft portion here, again, it keeps it nice and clean, easy to wash off when you get crawler dirt or fish blood, anything on the boat. So again, it's just that nice transition from, from sculpted carpet to vinyl. It really gives it a, a better sense back here in the uh, fishing area where you're doing that. Well, you guys have added some nice features to this too, haven't you? Yeah, this is a, uh, basically it serves as a chase or a sun deck or you can, and our uh, changing room is in here as well. If you open that door there, Pop this open, and that just flips right up. Simple as that. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Zipper here, in and out. Do your deal and put her back. Nice for changing out of wet clothes too, if you're here. Okay, coming up here, we've got a. You just flip this up. You got an upright that locks right into that position there. Now you got a nice chase here. Somebody wants to lay out and get a little sun. Now you've upgraded the upholstery on this too, haven't you? Yeah, it's got the uh, nice piping through it here, and it's a very comfortable, you know, furniture. And we use all rotocast bases as well, so there's no wood or anything to rot or mildew in there. Nice. All the rotocast bases also have drains in them and drain channels, so it filters out through the boat. So sweet. Well, let's take a look at the helm and see what we have there. Well, Greg, it uh, looks like a fully featured helm here. What do we have going on? Yeah, we've got a deluxe fiberglass console here, all fiberglass construction. We've got uh, built-in custom gauges. We've got all lighted toggle switches here for your night navigation. We've got tilt steering, which is very nice. The seat is on a slider here and a pivot base, so you can rotate it or slide it backward and forward. Got a little cutout here for like an iPhone or an iPod, anything like that you want to put in here so it stays secure. We also have a J-Port connector here, which is good for your MP3 player or iPod, similar to play music. And um, deluxe uh, custom radio here. And all of the Starfish models also include a combination GPS fish finder as a standard feature. Wow, that's sweet. Yep. Well, let's take a look up front and uh, see what we have going on up here. Well, Greg, one thing I love about this boat is not only do you have fishing back there, but you could put a couple of extra fishermen up front, too, and uh, do some nice drift fishing, and uh, it looks like you got it going on here. Absolutely, and plenty of room, plenty of leg room, again, on these uh, bow section centric two fishing seats, same style we have in the back, but it gives you plenty of room here to maneuver around, and uh, that way if uh, you got a couple of little ones that might want to fish, and parents can kind of keep an eye on them and plus they're within the fence here which is nice sure safety wise now what else do we have going on here we've got a uh, removable table here and you can also get a uh, umbrella insert for this as well as one of the options um, we've got two chase areas here one in the uh, center section and then we've got one in the bow section here all of them have storage underneath them again rotocast bases with drains and um, 
in the head of each uh, lounge section, you have all rotocast storage within here as well. Right. And another nice feature about this boat, the Starfish model, we've got a rod locker system right here that's lockable also, so you can put rods in here also for well, storage. I like the tubes are yep. really nice. Yeah. Correct. Well, uh, Greg, I know you have some uh, really serious construction going on underneath. What, what do we have? Well, we've got an exclusive uh, cross-channel construction process we use, which is Z-bar attached over the hat channel and everything is double through bolted to the risers that come up to the deck. We also have a uh, seven ply um, treated plywood that helps against any you know water issues or warping that you may encounter and then also we have um, we've got a uh, all of our tubes are air filled so that helps it makes it a lighter tube gives it more strength and it and it helps the boat performance wise as well. All of our uh, transom pods, are they're all aluminum construction and they're designed to redirect water away from the engine so it gives you optimal performance there. And again, when the, with our nose cone design also, that's designed to, to make it lighter, give it more lift, again, allowing a higher dryer ride. Well, that's great. Well, thanks, Greg. Good, yeah. good luck on tour this year. Thank you very much. Appreciate you coming down. We just finished testing the StarCraft Starfish 246 four point. It's powered by Mercury's four-stroke 115, which is a really good match for this boat. We got on a plane in 2.5 seconds, reached uh, 20 miles an hour in 4.9 seconds, with a top speed of 27.9. Now these are a pair of 25-inch uh, tubes, so nice big tubes, you ride high in the water, so you can take rough water really easily. It's got the lifting strakes on the inside, so that accounted for a really nice time to plane. For more information on the StarCraft Starfish 246 Four Point and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones and we'll see you out on the water. We got a couple of rods on board, so I think I'm going to go catch us some crappie for dinner. Really great setup. Uh, you can do a little bit of everything in this boat. Take the kids tubing. This boat corner is really flat and uh, steers really easily too despite the fact it's got a 115 and it doesn't have power steering. Not sure we got enough power to go skiing, but tubing is definitely in the picture. Right now, fishing is in the picture. They shouldn't have put these rods on board. They're never gonna see me. 